Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratteverything.info. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to use the hatch command, and I'm going to show you a few different examples using it. Uh, to start, I've just got a random shape here, and I'm going to fill in the entire shape with a hatch. So to start, I'm going to select the hatch command from up here. You can also type in hatch. Uh, it's under draw on the home tab. So once you select it, it brings up the hatch menu above here. And you have the choice of picking a point, which would mean clicking on the inside of uh, an area. So as you can see, if I click there and hover, it shows me where it's going to hatch. The other option is to click the select, and you can choose a polygon. So as you can see, I can pick my entire shape. Um, I'm going to go with, let's go with uh, this cross hatch here and I'm going to select the polygon. So as you can see, it's hatched in everything, but it's very dense. So to change the scale, you're going to go over here, and you can click the up arrow to change it at uh, increments of 0.1, or you can type something in. So I'm going to type in 10 and hit enter. Now you can see it's hatched the inside of our uh, object. Uh, you can also change uh, settings like transparency by sliding the bar. And as you can see, it kind of dulls a little bit on the screen, but this would show up better, uh, say, if you're using a solid and you needed to see what was beneath it. Uh, you can also change the angle by a slider. And as you can see, the hatch moves depending on what angle you're set at. You can also uh, choose uh, various patterns here, as well as the color. Uh, typically, I'll use by layer and put it on a layer, but you can also hit select color and choose any color you'd like. And there you go. That's this one. Uh, next we're going to go, so to finish this you're going to hit enter. And there you go, you've got a hatched object that you can select. It's a solid inside of your polygon. Alright, so we're going to go to my second example, which is over here. And it's a steel washer, let's say. Uh, you can see the, there's a cut right here, so that would be if we cut through the center here and showed it as a side view here. Uh, we're going to fill the outside here because that's a hole, and we're also going to fill here and here. Uh, I'll show you how to do that right now, and we're going to use a couple different methods. So for the main washer here, you're going to bring up the hatch menu again, and you're going to select the outer area, and as you can see, it leaves the uh, inside hatched. So if we select pick points, and we pick the internal point there, it deletes it. It's telling it not to hatch there. Uh, now we're going to go down to, let's keep clicking down, and we're going to select steel, which you could do whatever you want. You could make it stars for all I care. Uh, we're going to pick a new color, and we're going to change the scale to 7. There you go. You have a bunch of stars. Uh, set your transparency, you can change your angles, and when you're done, hit enter. There you've got a hatched object with an area missing. You can do this for most shapes. Um, you simply select in the area that you'd like to remove, or under selecting objects, you select both objects. Uh, next to do this one, we're going to hit the hatch command again, and we're just going to use pick points this time. So this one will select the area inside of where you click. So if you click right here, it's going to hatch in there. If you click in here, it'll hatch that area. You can do it over here, here. So we're going to select there and there. This is going to be one hatch. Now we're going to choose steel. We're going to leave it at the default angle. And we're going to choose 10 as our scale. There you can see that. We're going to use yellow. And we're going to hit enter. Now you've hatched this area and it's a single hatch so if you delete it hit delete it removes it as one pretty basic um, this is just a quick overview of the hatch command hopefully you've gotten the hang of it and if you need any help at all uh, just leave me a comment and don't forget to check out the site better at everything.info thanks for watching and subscribe if you like the videos cheers